Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Autos. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use Clavio for email marketing. So we'll be showing you a beginner's guide on how to set it up. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest offer just under this video. So let's get started. So how do you actually start using Clavio here? So the first thing that you need to do here is you need to visit their official website, which is going to be clavio.com. Now from here, what we need to do is we need to view some details that we can actually use on Clavio. So that is the main website here, as well as the pricing that they actually have. So uh, Clavio here offers uh, the uh, intelligent marketing automation platform that uh, turns your customers into uh, faster or customer data into uh, a way for you to grow faster. Now, you might be wondering what are their pricing? Is it actually free to use? Well, when we go to the pricing section here, you should be able to see those details. Now, as you can see, for how many contacts, like for example, you have 1,000 to 1,500 contacts, the following options are available to you. So you have the email SMS, which is $60 a month, email only, which is $45 a month, and the zero or zero dollars a month, or the free version for Clavio is going to be a something we'll be using later on. So the free version actually gives you a starting 500, mo 500 monthly email sends, 150 free monthly SMS or MMS credits, includes applicable SMS carrier fees, and email support for the first 60 days. Now in this case, how do we sign up? So in this case, you could either click on the sign up button here or the account at the top right. In this case, let's go and click on sign up here. And from here, we need to fill out some details. So that includes your email, your password, the company name, the company website, your phone number, and how will you be using Clavio. In this case, you also have the option to enable tell me more, or sign up for marketing communications, and even sign up for the live consultations or walkthrough for it. Now, we also need to verify that you're not a robot. But in this case, just fill out all the details here and click on the create account. And you should be able to receive a email notification here that says confirm your email. Now, in this case, go ahead and click on confirm email here and you'll be able to create your account. But in this case, since I've already created my account, I'm just going to log in and through my account. So let's just go ahead and log in. Now, once logged in, you should be able to see the UI that you should see or you are currently seeing here on my screen. Now, there's going to be a lot of things that you could do here. Like, for example, in the homepage tab, you should be able to see different details about your conf uh, campaigns, your flows, your emails, SMS, and a lot more. Now, you also have the top performing flows here, recent campaigns, and a lot more. Now, you also have the campaigns, flows, sign-up forms, audience, content, analytics, and conversations here. But in this case, uh, uh, since there are, going, there are going to be a lot of things that you could do here, we are going to focus on creating our email marketing or our campaigns. Now, to do that, we need to go to the campaign section here, and you should be able to see the page for campaigns, which in this case uh, it should be empty since this is actually a pretty new account. Now, in this case, how do we actually start creating our campaign here? Now, to create ours, we need to click on the create campaign at the top right of your screen, and you need to fill out all the details here. So we have the campaign name here, the date for it, and the type. So we have email, set up SMS, and push. I also have the tag section here if you want to add a new tag. So maybe I want to say this is about learning. So just uh, enter learn here, press and enter, and from here, we should be able to add that tag. Now, in this case, you could also change the name here, but I'm going to give this as default, but you could go ahead and add any name here. But in this case, let's go ahead and click on save and continue for us to see the next page. Now, on the next page, it's going to ask you to basically indicate your recipients and the don't send list here. Now, in this case, let's go ahead and choose our send to. And from here, we have the following list. So we have the newsletter here preview lists and SMS subscribers. Now in this case, let's go ahead and choose whatever list that we have. So maybe I want to use newsletter here. And uh, from here, we want to go ahead and choose the don't send option. But this is just optional. But in this case, you could go ahead and choose that. Now, by the way, if you're wondering how do you actually create your own list, you could go to audiences, 
and from here you need to go to list and segments and create your own list but in this case we are just going to use a newsletter option here now from here you have the option to skip recently emailed profiles and the estimated recipients here which is going to be one person only since i only have one person in this newsletter here now for here you also have the option to enable any uh, enable include tracking parameters here so if you want to enable that in this case i'm going to keep it as is and from here click on continue to content now in the content section you should be able to uh, basically add your subject line which is going to be the title of our email and the preview text here so let's just say hey uh this is going to be a test email the preview text you could go and enter it here the sender name here and the sender email address now in this case uh, let's go ahead and enter our preview text so let's just say sample preview text and from here we all have the option to start designing our email so you have three options here we have the drag and drop option which is going to be the easiest way to design your email and we also have the text only which in this case is going to be just text whenever you want to promote something and we also have the html here which in this case is html uh, based now if you are aware of html it's a great way for you to start designing your content through html but in this case we're just going to use a drag and drop here to make it a lot easier for us and from here once we've chosen that we could go ahead and load the template section here now there's going to be a lot of templates that you could actually choose from but in this case maybe i want to use the most simplest one here so let's go ahead and choose this one here and from here you have the option to change your view here if you want to go to mobile or desktop here so let's go ahead and use this template here and from here it's going to load up the editor for this specific template so let's just wait for it to load up and in this case you should be able to see your template now as you can see this template is already good now in this case if you want to change a few things here like for example adding text images or anything that you want you're, you could actually use or utilize the left panel here now the left panel here there's going to be a lot of things that you could add like text images split buttons header bar drop shadow social links spacer horizontal rule product table and the layout options here now in this case how do you actually add your images here now in this case you could go ahead and choose this one and you could just basically drag it into whatever section that you want to add now in this case you could go ahead and choose that element and from here you could go ahead and go to the left panel again and upload your image so in this case, maybe I want to uh, basically use an image here. So let me just choose one image that I could actually use. So maybe I want to use uh, this image here of a dog. So let's go, let's go ahead and drag it into here, in here for us to start using it. Now, once you've uploaded that, you should be able to see the next page here, which in this case, you should be able to start utilizing it. Now in this case in the image settings you can change a few things here like the alternate text the link address whenever they click on it the width and the hide so if you want to also make it auto you could go ahead and lock the aspect ratio for it or you also have the full column here the alignment image area background color blocking and a lot more now in this case if you want to change the width here now let's just say our height is going to be let's just say 100 pixels here just something really small as you can see right now it's really really small in this case you can go ahead and change whatever setting you know, here or have here now depending on what option or what uh, type of changes you apply here or what element you actually apply here there are going to be a few things that you could actually change like for example if you go to or if you've added a button whenever you click on it these are the options that you could change like for example the button color the corner radius border drop shadow inner padding text and blocking here and if you want to include a background color in it you could go ahead and start adding it but in this case once you've added and basically have your email um set up here or your email look uh, done you can go ahead and click on preview and test here to take a preview of your email and just click on send test to send this to yourself and from here you could just e include your email here to have a sample uh, email sent to you now in this case once you've done just click on done here and from here once you're done you can go ahead and just click on save at the top right here to save all your changes and from here you could go ahead and click on continue to review and from here you should be able to see the ready to send section which in this case you should be able to review whatever details that you included like for example your recipients subject line and a lot more now in this case once you're done just click on schedule or uh or send here 
and from here you need to specify if you want to schedule it or send it now. Now if you want to schedule it, you need to choose the type here, fix time send, date, time, time zone. But if you want to send now, go ahead and choose that and click on send now. In this case, once you're done, you should be able to send out your campaign emails to your recipients. And that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.